Hello everybody here on YouTube and welcome! We are playing in the streamer event for Ravnica Allegiance. Um, as a disclaimer, we got accounts uh, stocked with four of every card and uh, gems from Wizards of the Coast for this event, so there's your disclaimer. Anyway, we got to do some sealed! <laughs> Casino Clowns, I'm, I'm just doing this- Ooh, I, I was gonna say, I'm just doing this for... Um, the intro for the YouTube video, but we got, this is pretty pog. Mass manipulation seems awesome. Energy powers is seven mana. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library, then draw seven cards, exile, emergency powers, addendum. You may cast a spell during your main phase and you may put a permanent card into converted mana cost with seven less from your hand onto the battlefield. Huh. And then Prime Speaker of Vanifar seems pretty good. Hold on. Maybe not for sealed. It's just pod, right? Dice the tempo opponent mono seven drops. Yeah, yeah. We we did have that problem in the last sealed that we our deck was slow. This is pretty cool though. Precognitive perception. Five mana, draw three cards to denim. If you cast a spell during your main phase, you also scry three. So it's scry three, draw three. I mean that's really strong. Um, Kaya is like not, remember not looking very good from the previews. Three mana, three loyalty. Exile up to two target cards from a single graveyard you gain two life if at least one creature was exiled this way. Um, exile target non land permanent with converted mana cost one or less. Kaya seems medium. Bloodcrypt is fine. And yeah, we got some jammies. All right, so it does look like we're playing blue. At the very least, just because we have the draw three and maybe Prime Speaker, whatever her face was. Yeah, Kaya seems bad, Ark. Agreed. We are on the same page. Uh, this card's cool. Do you rather play Tibble than Kaya? I mean, they both seem really bad on. Chillbringer's really good. I think we're almost certainly playing blue, just given... How good is this card? Gain control of X target creatures and or planeswalkers. So it's... It'd be 8 mana to steal 2. Yes, if you can cast it for 2, you just probably win, right? It's a 6 mana mind control, 8 mana double mind control. I mean, I'd be down to try it. Yeah, it's six for so so. It's in bolus as clutches or eight mana double in bolus as clutches, which seems pretty good. Draw four cards and discard two cards. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of slow though. We already have precognitive per perception. Yeah, in bolus as clutches was really good at six. In bolus as clutches was permanent though. So this is creatures under planeswalkers, but it's not permanent. So you can't just take enchantments and stuff. Prying Eyes is real bad. It feels a little slow. Skittering Eel seems like it could be okay. Terramander, one mana, one one. Flying Adapt, four for eight mana. This ability costs one less to activate for each instant associate in your graveyard. Well, that's a cool build around me, but it seems not, not particularly good. Why are these people complaining so much? Persistent Petitioners. Uh, two mana, one, three. Target player puts the top card of the library into their graveyard. Tap four untapped advisors you can advisors you control. Target player puts the top 12 cards of their library into their graveyard. <laughs> All right, there is... It's weird. <laughs> Terramander is good if you have two spells in the yard. Yeah, I mean, you do it for... I mean, we might try it. We'll see. Because I think Arrester's Admonition is pretty good. Three mana, return to a creature to its owner's hand. If you cast a spell during your main phase, draw a card. Hey, a Polish sniper. How are you? Welcome. Um, the Fairy Duelist. Uh, we didn't play it last time, but we might play it this time. Send a Guild Mage. I mean, th this would put us in Asorius. You gain two life and draw a card and discard a card. That's not bad. Um, wait, we wanted two of these probably. Code of Constraint. Target creature gets minus four, minus zero oh, until the turn. Draw a card. Then you cast a spell during your main phase. Tap that creature doesn't untap during its control and it's untaxed. So that seems good. We do have the Senate Griffin. 
Yeah. This one seemed very good last time. It's just unblockable 2-5, so... VG. Slime Bind is a tier 1 blue card. Let me look. 2 mana, Flash, and Shank Creature. Yes, this seems very good. Play two of them. Our Azorius does seem quite strong. I don't think we're playing Emergency Powers. Uh, Shitty thanks. Oh, I'm sorry, Polish Sniper. Went on a walk today. My phone fell out of my pocket and rained. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Polish Sniper. That sucks. Especially phones are so expensive nowadays, too. Man. I'm sorry, Polish Sniper. LSV made me miss my bus stop this morning. That's funny. So I don't think we're playing this one. This one's just, like, too much. But this seems good. The Saurus Knight seems good. Senate Guild Mage looks good. This seems good. I like our Azorius. I think it's not bad. He said, you have all the sick inside into all the commons and commons from listening to this LR, right? <laughs> I did hear him while he was recording the other night, but I haven't heard all of it. I heard some of it. What's our mana like? We can take a look. We have the one guild gate and one gateway plaza. And we have two Simic Guild Gates, so we might be able to splash green if we want to. Yeah, I know. I I stopped listening because I had the door open. Um, and it's actually pretty easy to like hear from the other room because the rooms are next to each other. Um, and they also like, because it's a podcast, you're not missing out on like everything is verbal. So you can actually hear some stuff. But eventually I just crashed. Yes, a Sword of Skyguard seems like bullshit, honestly. <laughs> uh, okay, so our mana base is not bad, especially if we want to try to splash green. Let's look at our green real quick. And our green blue as well. Because we have the... I don't even think we want that. She is very cool. Sacrifice another creature. It's just pod. Put the card into the battlefield and shuffle your library. Awesomeness of the one year! Thank you! A full year. Gabby, wow, I cannot thank you enough for all the joy you've brought me over the past 12 mm -hmm. months. Sending all the love to you, LSV. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Awesomeness. Gabby, I really appreciate Gabby, that. You're so sweet. Gabby, really, really appreciate that. Pod is hard and sealed. It is, for sure. That's going to be a cool constructed card, though. Uh, let's take a look at our white. We already, I think, got all of our blue. But we'll see. Syndicate Messenger, 4 mana, 2, 3, Afterlife 1. Meh. Yo, new Madrid. Madrid, actually. 86, thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to the brood. Appreciate it. I listened to the podcast on repeat while I slept so I could passively absorb the info. Feels good, man. Uh, Prowling Caracal seems awful. Twilight Panther, one mana, one, two. Death touch until end of turn. Definitely not for us. It's a two, three flyer for four mana. Tenth District Veteran, three mana, two, three VG. Whenever Tenth District Veteran attacks, tap another creature. Untap another target creature you control. Man, the 10th district in Ravnica is just so bad. All the creatures from the 10th district are awful. Uh, that seems okay. 3-3 three, three flyer for 4 would be good. If you count as a 2-3 plus a 1-1, one, one, it's almost there. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll play it. We'll put everything that looks remotely playable in there. Justicia's Portal. Instant exile target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control against first strike until end of turn. Wait, what? Exile target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control against first strike until end of turn. That's such a weird card because of like, if they if you're attacking and they block and you... Oh, it's a surprise blocker. It's not on attacks. It's Yeah, it's like blink and then it has first strike and it's untapped when it comes back so you can just eat something. I mean... We could try it and see how it is. Forbidding Spirit. When Forbidding Spirit enters the battlefield until your next turn. Um, it is a modal card trip. Like, I think it's like if someone is trying to enchant your creature, you can like flicker it from underneath it. Or if somebody's attacking, you can flicker one of your creatures. It comes back with first strike and then you block. Um, 
If they beef you with removal, though, oh yeah. How does the first strike ever land? It'd be on defense, Casino Clam, so it'd never be an attacker's. It would be like, if they're attacking me, my creatures tap, I flicker it, it comes back untapped, I block, and then it has first strike. Uh, you can dodge spells and surprise block, yes. <laughs> Uh, when Forbidding Spirit enters the battlefield until your next turn, creatures can attack you or a Planeswalking Control un unless a control pays two for each of those creatures. So it only works for one turn, but it's still a three-minute three-three, which can't be that bad. Has the officer three-minute three-two? When has the officer enters the battlefield, target creature control gets plus one plus one so on the turn. Uh, seems medium. Exile target creature with power four or greater. I mean, we can probably play that. What is this? Defender. When L Wall of Lost Thoughts enters the battlefield, target player puts the top four cards of the library into their graveyard. That seems awful. Yeah, Casino. It's it, it's it's a weird flicker. Flicker. It's weird flicker text, but it has use. Oh, Concordia Pegasus. This is just a reprint. That's what it used to be before. Okay. Rally to battle. Creatures who can target plus one plus three until they'll turn on top of them. Wow, the the range of do you, does anybody know what LR said for this rally of the battle card? Because the range of these cards is always so wide. Like some of these cards are completely unplayable, and sometimes these kinds of cards are like unbeatable. Potentially these. Luis liked it a lot. Rally seems great. LSV said it high. All right, all right. I'm I'm down to try it. Knight of Sorrows, 5 mana 3-3, three, three, when Knight of Sorrows can block an additional creature each combat. But it's a 3-3. Three, three. When ja Watchful Giant enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. So it's a uh, 6 stats, 6 mana for a, basically like a 4-7 kind of in stats. Louis said a C, but only in a creature heavy deck. Got it. This seems awful. Okay, everything else seems very bad. So that's, let's look at this. Did I open any words that were in white blue? Yeah, our other cards were not quite as good. We might play Concordia Pegasus, just as a crappy flyer. We could play the Scuttle Gator, but I think, isn't the Scuttle Gator activated ability include green in it? No, it's hybrid hybrid. Hmm, we could play the Scuttle Man. As our 40th card. Just like a little bit of beef. And we're mostly an Azorius deck. We have a lot of creatures. It's just like an Azorius deck with a couple of punchy cards. Some people are saying that a Petromander is going to become a modern staple. I don't know what Petromander does, Delta Kiss. Can you tell me the text? I think the 1-3 flyer is better than it sounds. Yeah, I mean, Concordia Pegasus was playable in the last set. It's not like it was good, and obviously I know a lot of this is, like, pretty set-dependent, but it's not the worst. Um, But, you know, we don't need the Simic Guild Gates. We're not really playing anything green. This is just blue-blue. There's nothing else we want, right? We could play Watchful Giant. That, that card seems terrible. But Amanda is the Gurmag Delvery Drake there was in Legacy Deck and Wait Oh, like a Wayfinder? Some people are experimenting with it for modern and legacy. That's pretty cool. Emergency power for the memes. That card seems not great. I guess we could also play 10th District Veteran. Do we have any synergies with untapping any creatures? Let's see. Totally don't. No. Oh, Terramander, got it. Yeah, these kinds of cards can be pretty good in older formats. I can see it. <laughs> Dude, I know. Tenth District is sending us all the all the scraps. They're just like, yo, we heard you needed some soldiers. Here you go. <laughs> The tenth district guard was the worst guard possible. It was so, it was like tenth picker at best. Any decent Orzov stuff? No, I couldn't. Hold on, let's look at everything now. Just to see if we're missing anything. Like Kaya is not playable. I don't think. When you're about to retire from Boros, they send you to pasture in the tenth district guard. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, nothing playable here. Well, no, I, I honestly... Hold on. You guys tell me if you see something like awesome, but I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anything. Oh my god, what what is this one? He's so fat. He's so cute. Oh, we do have the judgy grandma. But I don't even I think that seems good in like Orzov, not for splashing. Biogenic upgrades seem pretty good, but it this is not the deck for it, I don't think. Actually you can it's up. Guild Mage is the only thing that, that works with. It doesn't seem that good either. I know, he's chonky. <laughs> he's an absolute unit. What is this? Scrabbling Claws. Target player exiles a card from their graveyard. Sacrifice Scrabbling Claws. Exit target card from a graveyard. Draw a card. Huh. Okay. Cute. I don't think Prime's that good. Look at our curve. We can't actually, like... We don't have the cards. Those cards are just like not very good and limited a lot of times. We don't have good creatures to sack. Like if we had a lot of creatures that had good ETBs and then you sack them, maybe. Emergency powers into off-color fatty. Oh my gosh, you guys are ambitious. We're gonna just do this: Gateway Plaza, Guild Gate, and then what does our deck composition look like? A lot more blue than white, but it probably doesn't have to be the slanted. So add one more planes, and that puts us at seven, eight, nine white sources, eight, nine, ten blue sources. That sounds better, especially for mass manipulation. Quadruple blue. Okay. Do you even need the plaza? Maybe not. Maybe we actually cut the plaza and play an island. And that puts us at 8 white sources, 10 blue sources. Yeah, all right. Da -da 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 -da. Drop the plaza. Do, 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 I'm good. Turn 3 card liberated. I haven't cast any turn 3 card liberated, so I guess I could be better. But <laughs> it's, it's been fun. We've just been playing uh, Ravnica, or Ravnica Allegiance Sealed. Living our best sealed life. I'm excited for draft though. I like draft better than than sealed. Splash the chonkster. I do like that chonky one. That chonky boy. I don't know what a Zypalo Garcia is, but we're gonna fight. We can't cast the Forbidding Spirit, unfortunately. But the rest of the hand seems pretty good. Best of one draft doesn't start until February 1st. Oh man. So, tr but traditional draft starts during the pre-release, right? On Friday? I thought there was draft. Or am I... Imperio, thank you so much for the six months. Enjoy your cool new hat this month. Says, smile. How's Dogums doing? She's good, Casino. Um, she's getting much better with potty training. Potty mulliganed. Traditional starts Friday. We didn't get any thirsty shade to set the thirst traps. <laughs> Yeah, Doggers is doing well. Um, she's getting much better at potty training. Um, she still has accidents here and there, but like overall, we started out with like four accidents a day or something in the house, and she's down to like maybe like one a day or something. She hasn't actually had one in the last couple days. Oh, I love it, Darius. That's pretty awesome. Christmas pack in January. What the hell? Thirsty Shade. <laughs> one win a one one life link. When Thirsty Shade gets. Plus one, plus one until end of turn. All right, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can eat the thirsty shade. You got a new puppy too, King Jenny. Tell me everything. I saw her diapers. There's definitely hope for her. All right, we're gonna try to ambush. Oh, delicious thirsty shade. Uh, we don't get to play a 3-draw, but we can play the Syndicate next turn. That was pretty nice, that exchange. Okay, I accept. Ooh, that was really good. Also, we didn't have anything to do at that point of the curve, which is nice. One for zero exchange. <laughs> Side of sight, I'm watching you. 
You can feel that the duelist will be the bane of my drafting experience. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's going to be annoying when you think, like, do they have the duelist, though? Because I don't think it's even, like, that great of a card. And then you're just going to get browned by it, and you're like, this is stupid. <laughs> All right. So next turn, we get to go this into this. Excuse me. What does this do? Whenever Plague White becomes blocked, each creature blocking gets minus one, minus one until the turn. So it's like a... It's like the flame dude. Ashmout Hound. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. Or Ornery Goblin. They're the same. One and the same. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. If you control a creature with power four or greater, you gain four life. So... Yeah, I will sack. I think I'd still rather keep this in place. So I'll just sack this one. Uh, hit for two. Fight Island. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, Tyranid. How are you? <laughs> All the one health fast boys beware the fairies. <laughs> Blocking it. Whenever play becomes blocked. So it's not when Plague White blocks. It's when this attacks and you block it, not when it blocks itself, right? Uh sorry, Miss Jackson. Yeah, the streamers got uh ooh, I like that. Yeah, so streamers got early access from wizards. Eee, what does this do again? Tap target creature, draw a card, create two color, the stop their artifact creature tokens with flying. You gain one life for each creature you control. Cool. Um, that's what we'll probably do. But it's an instant, so we can do it later. Is deploy an instant? It is! It is indeed. It is indeed. Hold on, I'm moving my little bits cup. Cool. Uh, let's see. So I can't actually block with my 1-1s, one but it's not like we carry. They didn't attack? Oh, sorry, they can't attack into the Sorius Arbiter. All right. Yeah, it's a little bit cup. It's just a tiny baby. I, I don't want it to take too much space. This deck is much better, Louise. I am digging our deck way more. When a DTB taps our creature opponent controls, it doesn't untap during his controller next untap step. We don't even have, like, a creature that is currently blocked by the Plague White. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. If you control a creature with power four or greater, you may return up to one creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, that's kind of cool. We'll just let the messenger die. Oh well, Dobbs. Okay, and now we can Chillbringer just tap that punk. Yeah, they always do ages. Uh, they usually do. It, it's usually like commons and uncommons first, and then they have a, the rare set. The rare one is the following week. What does this do? It's a three mana two two death touch. So it's just like a the Gorgon thing. What does this do? Target creature gets minus four minus so until the turn draw a card. If you cast a spell during your main phase, tap that creature. And doesn't untap this his control and untap step. All right. Well, we're still just attacking with everybody. Yeah, it's just dagger back. I want my dagger back. Dagger back. All right, this deck is much better than the last one we we put together. Hey, Wonton! It's actually not a new mic. It's actually my regular mic. I just changed the setup so that it sounded better. <gasps> Blew your mind. And the new set's been fun. We did one sealed before, and our deck was four color monstrosity, and we got pretty browned. Watsy Jamie bot. All right, Watsy, time to fight Papa Watsy. Mine's sufficiently blown. I know it's not a ton, just a little bit. 
Uh, oof. I don't really like this hand, but I don't think we can mulligan it. Thank you, Tapped. I do like my shirt. This one also is not new. Just new and Im just improved. Can you play the streamer event on your own account? Or is it this is a temp account, um, Conan. Look, look at our name. Gabby Sparks underscore VIP. So this only works for the... We're actually on like a totally different client. We had to download MTG Arena again. Like I had to play the tutorial again. <laughs> oh, Kala. But Kala, that means that you... Oh, no. What's he Jamie bot is... Going down to six. No, normally I'm just a regular, regular, regular Gooby. Today I'm a very important Gooby. I played someone the other day named Hire Me Watsi. That's really funny. <laughs> okay, well, we can't do anything for now. Just gonna get there with our little one ones. Super Gooby? Hmm, definitely very important Gooby today. I don't know about Super Gooby, though. My opponent is on... Ooh, that's not a bad draw. I mean, I wish I could draw something that costs less, but I'm not going to complain about that. So I, I will want to addendum this at some point to draw a card. Like, I might do it... When has the officer enters the battlefield, target tree control gets plus one, plus one until the turn. Totally useless. Wow, oh, four three. <laughs> oh, it's that cool card we added. So I think we'll just arrestors uh admonition just to draw a card. Um Don't believe the cards. Ooh, fairy duelist. Cause I just wanna make sure that we hit our land drops for um our what's his face? This dude? And also, this does put a card here for the adapt. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. So this costs. Hold on. Eight to adapt. Ability costs one less to activate for each instant. So currently it costs seven. All right. Well, we can just play the the arbiter dude and not attack. Oh. I don't know if he showed you guys. Hold on. Pog is live on the channel now. You see that? Yeah. Also this. Doggers! You can't block Asaurus crab. Oh man, they're on the Senate Griffin life. Well, they can't block the Asaurus Knight, which is good. No blocks. Love it. Love it, Casino Clams. Love it. So we could try to kill a griffin next turn. That might be legit. Like, we'll go island. Oh my gosh, do you like it? Awesomeness? Yes, this guy seems quite good. So here we could try to um, fairy duelist shrink one of these guys. Sure. Oh, we could... Not anymore, because they pumped it. But I still do think we go Fairy Duelist. Shrink the little one. Ooh, they got some action. Cutter target spell once the controller pays two. Okay, well... Let's resolve that and pay two. I think we just shrink this one. And then we can go to... I guess we double block and we trade the Terramander for this, basically. Yeah, there's no other way. Okay, so let's just do that. Oh, yeah, we could slime the other one. Yeah, yeah, I like that. 
So let's go like that, and then we'll slime bind this one. We'll just lose a Terramander for Griffin. I think that's fine. There you go. Ooh, that's not bad. Terramander gets to be a 5-5 soon. Well, I do feel like we don't really need the Terramander as part of it. Though I guess with another incident there, like if we use the Justicious Portal there to make this a first... No, we had no way to kill that thing without losing the Terramander. We could have just shrunk it. When Dovin's acuity enters the battlefield, you gain two life and draw a card. Whenever you cast an instant spell during your main phase, you may return Dovin's acuity to its owner's hand. What the hell? So this is like disinformation campaign except gain life? Yeah, it's like reverse disinformation campaign. That card's gonna be so annoying and limited. Holy crap. But why though? Okay, they didn't go for it. <sighs> you gain two life or dry card than discard a card. Yeah, man. It's really weird. <laughs> I think here we just attack with... I don't know what they could have for this, but we just attack with a Sorius Arbiter, play this, and then plan on looting. Can't even really attack with this, unfortunately. You have to admit that this is a way more fair campaign than this information campaign, yes. This information campaign was bullshit. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave this back just because I don't think we actually... And I want to have the Justicia's portal in case they, like, try to some funny business, but... Maybe Jamie Bot is actually a bot. <laughs> you can still use portal to get that ETB on the ferry again. Yeah, 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 for sure. It might... I mean, it might come up. We'll see. We shall see. Sorry, like, one of the few creatures we have with cool ETB. This is three mana. Three mana, one for flying Senna Courier against VG until end of turn. Sure. Any attacks? I don't think they have attacks. How do they get this back whenever you cast an instant spell during your main phase? Okay. Okay, they didn't do anything. So let me... Loot. Dude, I know. This Knight Arbiter is so good. It's like they've never been able to attack into it. And it's just... It's just unblockable. This thing does get to start attacking next turn, though. Sanit Courier gains vegan until end of turn. <laughs> just VG. VG. I'm gonna bin that. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack with both of these. Yeah, and we either have Rally. Oh, I guess we should have played the land, but I do want to loot the land away. So maybe we don't care about it at all. What was the point of giving it VG? Oh, just to show that you could. Wait, wait, no, 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 I wanted to. <laughs> Damn it, I actually wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to put the counter on this thing. Look, it's fine. We can just pass. It did. I mean, the threat of activation did something, I guess. Nidosaurus can block an additional creature each combat after life one, sure. I don't really want to GG though, because they're not necessarily dead. Oh wow, that's really good. Ooh, can we use this on anything? Power 4 or greater, yeah, totally can't do anything. Any good buffs in this set? I mean, I think there's a lot of stuff. Uh, if you cast a spell during your main phase, instead scry three, then draw three cards. 
It can kill our eel because they just block this, this, and this. Or like these two on eel. <laughs> so I think... We could swing out and rally. It sounds kind of sweet, actually. Because we get in for three here. We'll see how they block. This won't die. And then this can even get an attack in. Yeah, all right. Sure. Sure. Hold on, what's the power of this thing? We don't even need to use uh We don't even need to use anything here. Hey, a Polish sniper, thanks for the two months. Well, oh, that's true, Akiba. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm not gonna rally. Although it does keep it alive. Yeah, sure. No, 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 not this one. Not this one. All right, this one. I guess I could have looted there. I just don't want to rope. All right, sure. We'll, we'll loot in a second. Portal of the Duelist. Portal of the Duelist was better. We would have had to do that before combat, though. Because remember, it blinks it. So it's not like you don't get to just like give it first strike. It blinks it, then it gets first strike. Sure. Sure. Oh, portal it for the minus two minus O effect. I see. I think they are just dead in. Hold on. Let me make sure that we loot here. Yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. The Night Arbiter is doing work. We can bend the island. Oh, well, how spooky is this? Spirit 1 1 flyer. Actually, I should have- I should attack first. Yeah. Uh... I'll probably attack with everybody. I might blink this in one second, we'll see. I just feel like we can send with everybody right now because, like, this is just getting in for two already. And, um, this is creature you control. So if they try to do some double block on this, we can always blink this. Like, if they try to kill this, we can blink this, shrink the creatures blocking the eel. <laughs> Why do they keep giving it VG? I have no idea. No clue. Sure, so that's just a chump. That's just pillow fight, chump, pillow fight. Seems fine with me. Okay. Honestly, I believe it's better to just play the messenger here. Than to play perception. How again? How are you? Plus one, plus one until I'm turn, sure. Vegan bird just keeps showing up. <laughs> Always talking about being a vegan. Alright, so if they have no way to deal with this one, they're dead. And then if they have a way to deal with it, we can always blink it. That is fine. Also fine. All right, they're super dead. Super dead. 
Oh, that would have kept them alive one turn, that's true. They would have shrunk this. I don't know, they're totally tapped out. I just sent with this one. I think, I mean, they could have, but I also feel like they felt like they were dead. Like, you know how sometimes at the end of it, it's just like, whatever, I'm off it. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I, I've, I've definitely felt that before. <laughs> Do we think that was a bot for reals? I mean, they made some plays that didn't make sense. Like, that would make sense if they were a bot. Like, they... They kept giving VG to the owl on defense when it didn't make any sense. And then... That turn, they could have lived if they didn't do what they did. Oof. What do we do with this one? Yeah, real lots of people are supposed to have mythic color names. <gasps> Maybe we really did play a bot. Hey, Molly. We just played against the computer, Molly. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this and hope we draw some lands. We can also main phase this to draw another card. I do the VG thing too, if you click to block. It's not blockers that auto taps. But they also made some plays that felt like if they were a human, they wouldn't have done that. Like, they had one play that would have just kept them alive for one turn longer, and they didn't do that. So maybe it was a real bot. <laughs> Reporting for win trading. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they played a flash creature at sorcery speed when it didn't do anything for them. I guess I do just play this and start attacking. We are kind of tempo-y. So this is tap an untap creature you control at mana of any color. So I don't want to bounce it anymore. I don't think I need to. Um, yeah, and it wasn't a mythic gold name. It was a Watsy bot. It was called Jamie Bot, and it wasn't... It wasn't... A mythic orange name. It was just that regular name that said bot on it. I, I'm sure we played against the real computer. <laughs> hey, Casas, welcome. Alrighty. We don't have a turn four play, so I think I'm just gonna wait until my turn and admonition this right now. Um, just so that we can draw a card and maybe draw some action. Hey, that's a not, not a bad one. I've seen other Watts usernames today without a Mythic Orange. This is different client. Time Twister, don't ruin this for me. We were playing against the AI. <laughs> I want to believe. I want to believe. This player you are playing against is watching your stream. They are streaming too, just so you know they know everything you have. Oh, do they really ever stream up? Don't, you don't, you can't do that, come on. <laughs> Who's to say Watsy hasn't hired a bot? I know, I, I believe Wizards is an equal opportunity uh, employer, so maybe there's just a lot of bots there. Stream sniping on stream is like... <laughs> is a, a different level. Alright, so what did they do that they didn't play the area Monculus again? I am suspicious. I just saw the stream and heard you talking in the background, so yeah, that's not great. Oh, I don't know if they're sniping or not, but okay. When Frilled Mystic enters the battlefield, you may counter target spell. So that's what they were trying to do. Um, I'm glad I waited. We can just do this here. Wow, that card is really cool. It's just like Mystic Snake that's harder to cast. It's like one pip harder to cast. Why doesn't Mass Manipulation have to mirror watermark? I don't know. Stream sniping during a preview event is real bad. <laughs> All right, era monkeyless. It's not an it is an invitational in the it is like you didn't get invited by wizards to play in it, but 
there's like 500 people or something that play in it, so it it's not that hard to get in. Oh, so many area monkeyless. Uh, we have two in there for the purposes of slime bind. Oh, sure, hippity. If they open the stream just to see who they're playing against, I'm totally cool with that. So, God, we really need to... Hmm. Forbidding Spirit is actually kind of dope this turn because they're, they're about to have like a million creatures in play. Yeah, so... I think we go Forbidding Spirit. Play a Plains. Play a Terramander. And at least if they want to attack us next turn, it's going to cost them. They have to pay the troll toll. They were sniping the guy. I even asked the girl, like, are we still going to stream this while watching a stream? It isn't fair, so that's why I said it here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fair. All right, Kaliga. It's all good. If people want to snipe during the preview event, it's just like... <laughs> I don't really know what to say. <laughs> this is the least stakes event you can ever play in. Second only to maybe like your local pre-release. <laughs> uh, if we tapped all white, we could have slime binded as well. Did we have enough? Oh, that's true. We could have uh, for the forbidding spirit. Yeah, <laughs> at the pre-release, at least you win some packs. <laughs> Windstorm Drake, 5 mana, 3 3. Other creatures you control with flying get plus 1 plus 0. Alright, that's pretty annoying. Can we go blue? My gosh. No. <laughs> yeah, only streamers are doing this. <sighs> Chat, we are in trouble. I think we just play the eel and hold slime bind. We just like don't have super good blocks, but we might need to make one of these creatures a little bit smaller. We might pump the flyer in a second. Hey, Zabaran, thanks for the 33 months. Rampaging Rendhorn, right? 4-4. Four, four. Thank you, Zabaran, for the 33 months. I really appreciate that you're so close to three years. Oof. Okay, how do we do this? We have so many flyers. So we have to... Kill this one, probably. Oh, well, we can't even kill it. Probably trade that there. This is attacking too. We can probably slime bind that one. Yeah... Darius, it sounds like it might have been before, but honestly, I don't I don't really care. Like, it's just whatever. If you want to snipe during streamer event, I, I really don't care. I do need the 5-5 five five for later to block this. So I think we just take a million damage here and just take that trade and then block like that. And then we slime bind. We have to try to trade with this thing at some point, so probably slime bind this one. Jesus. All right, Senate Griff does trade with that, which is good. Um, and then we get to hold. We don't get to hold anything up. No, beep, beep, beep. I I play with chat a lot, so it's not about backseating. It's 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 when people it's it was specifically when you were like, 
kind of screaming in chat. <laughs> Those are the times that it gets me. I think we have to just um, line up some blocks here with like ready to battle. Hey Gabby, do you think Orzov will be viable for the pre-release? Yeah, of course. All the guilds should be viable for the pre-release. It will be good. Yeah, you guys, let's just move on. It, it does. It really doesn't matter, and I really also don't care. So here we have to try to set up a block with uh, ready to battle, where this can eat that, um, and two of these can probably team up to take this one down, and then we'll take a hit from this one. We could also adapt the flyer. I They have one last card here. This costs A to activate and I have two in there. So it's um, six. Maybe we do go for it actually. And we double block this one. All right, look, I think there's a really good chance that none of this is going to pan out. Yeah, the, the adaptation uh, animation was really cool. I was I was into it. But this can they can only blow us out with one of these blocks like they have one. Oh, cool. This is working. They're just putting a counter on that one. Cool, cool, all right. So now we're actually, I think, doing fine. What does this do again? Tap target creature, draw a card. So we might have to do that at the beginning. Oh, geez. The Gyre Engineer seems really good. Hug and thank you. So this can just block that, luckily. This can block this, and this one's not currently doing that much. Deploy gains life, I think. Create two colorless stop your artifact tokens with flying, then gain one life for each creature you control. Yes. We might want to do that at instant speed. So I think first we have to kick it off with Griff. Because the more life we can gain, I think, is the better. So... Because then we would gain five. And I'm not super worried about them attacking us. Unless they can get rid of the Terramander, which would be really bad. So I think we play the Griff. Um, do we care about that? Seems fine, actually. Yeah, I just play more flyers. We have this in case something goes horribly wrong. Like if they like use sorcery speed removal to, to remove our Terramander, we could deploy and tap this one. Um, this is going to be a problem, but hopefully we get to draw more blue sources and we get to yoink it. Ugh. Yeah, can't do anything about that. This one has a counter too. That was pretty good. Maybe we can yank that. Oh yeah, we, we, oh yeah, actually we just trial that. Yeah, we're gonna put it on the stand. All right, yeah, you get to do this thing. It doesn't give it haste or anything, right? When the gun is open, blah, blah, blah. adapt for each creature control the plus one plus one counter and it has trample. Cool. We could steal it if we were anywhere close. We were like so far from stealing it. Yeah, we are not gonna do anything there. I think we are just gonna put it to trial. Oh yeah, this is Ju Judge Judy in action. And here we can actually Arrestor's Admonition 
bouncing the Aeromunculus, and then we can start attacking with the Terramander. Because these two can just block, or this can block that at the very least. And then that maybe draws us another land so that the mass manipulation is actually live. Yeah, and we get to draw because of Addendum. Like, we get to use the main phase. Ooh, that's really good. So here we send with everyone except the Fairy Duelist. This doesn't matter. They have that one in hand, and then this just doesn't get to attack into this, and this one's whatever. Hey, Pacific! Thank you for the tier 1 sub. Welcome on in. Alright, cool. So the Area Monculus is dead now. Wow, we are making a good comeback in this game. Did anybody else see the Illuminati on the addendum card? Boo, boo, doo, 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 doo. I like the addendum animation, actually. I think it looks really nice. I think we are in the driver's seat now. Yeah, we are pretty stable now. It was a combination of like... I think that attack... I think it's because the set is new. But the attack into us being able to pump the Terramander was not great. Like... Because we ate their one... The guy that gave plus one, plus O oh to all the flyers. And then we traded their biggest creature for a 3-3 three, three from us. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. What the actual... What the fuck? Oh my god. I want to steal it so badly. That was really cool and it... Me. Destroy target land. Choose up to one. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Precipice. That, that's really cute. I want to steal it, you guys, but I can't steal it yet. Mass manipulation is blue, 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 blue. So, first, I think we have to chill bringer it to make it relax for one second. Why didn't they play this? I did. I have 10 islands in my deck, Hogan. I don't know what's going on. Attack with both of these. No, we, 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 we won't unsummon it. It just taps it. And then after that, we can depose it to tap it again. Okay, they got a Griff again. Grifferinos. Thank you so much, Precipice. I, I really appreciate that, by the way. Oh, I see you on the YouTubes. Hey, the Dapt and Breath. How are you? So, this is the plan. We're going to attack with Chillbringer and Senate Griffin. And then, depending on how they block, we will be we'll rally to battle. Gosh, planes? Are you for reals? Then on their turn, we have to depose the Ravager Worm, probably. The 2 3 can adapt, by the way. Yeah, but it can't adapt right now. Yeah, I guess we should attack with all three of Rigan Rally. It also is lethal if they don't block, because it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Oh, they can adapt now, huh? That's really bad on the duelist, but it's like pretty good if these two get in. Yeah, it's this one, right? Yeah. I still think we're supposed to attack with everybody, though. Yo, Observant, how are you? Sure.
I'm good, Observant. We've been playing the streamer event. It's been a good time. Alright, I think our deck is pretty good, this one. Alrighty. Alrighty. Cool beans. Ready to battle! So we basically got to eat everything there. And then we just tap this worm next turn. And then just hit with all of our flyers to kill them in the end. That seems pretty good. Yeah, that was really good. Okay, I really liked our attack with all. I think that worked out awesome. Uh, each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter and it has trample. That's fine. We're not dead on board. We have Depose. Resolves. Oh, sure, Bleak. Yeah, this just has trample. Okay, we're going two attackers, so let's Depose. Cool beans. They are dead now. Exar with the gifted subs! Thank you! Thank you for gifting a sub to King Spade. King Spade, welcome to the brood. Being browbeat into becoming a snake today. Enjoy your emotes. We got cool holiday emotes until January. They weren't dead on board until the post. Yeah, they were not. Oh, did you guys see that visual bug? It looked like we were in between round three and round four. That was kind of cool. Yeah, Sanady. I mean, we are playing. Let's look at our mana base real quick. We are playing enough sources for it. It's just that's the way we drew it up. Or, like, that's the way we drew. Yeah, look, we have 10 blue sources and 8 white sources. It's just, we just drew really, really weirdly. Hey, Microbless, thank you. Enjoy the rest of the stream and the streamer preview event. Yeah, we drew all the planes. Mm. Hogan, I strategically thought about it, and I was like, I could draw an island here, but I'm just gonna choose to to draw planes. <laughs> I do have any double. I do have double white cost. The uh, my three drop cost double blue. I also don't think I want to play. I would. This is a Azorius. This is an Azorius deck through and through. I wouldn't want to play seven sources. Uh, but yeah, both the three drop and the fact that, you know, we're in a Soria's deck. I don't really want to go down to seven. Gateway Plaza, sure. This hand is a like, yikes. Yeah, you can't mulligan it though. Zaru, thank you for the three months. You get a Pokemon trainer hat today. Also, it looks like our opponent's pretty slow too, so. Oh, I'm sorry, Sinead. The deck list uh, thing is outdated. That's yesterday's thing. I don't have one for today. Th there should be one in the... Oof. Okay. Wish we could have bounced that, man. So let's get Hogan. I think we play the Syndicate Messenger because that can block this one. And then we have a 1-1 one, one left at the end. Uh, I thought I recognized the opponent's name. They created the Lady Planeswalker Society. I thought that was Tifa Robles, wasn't it? Or is Mike Tifa's husband? Have we drawn for land in a row? I have. We have indeed. All right, so this is cool. Now that they try to jump this thing, this thing seems not bad, actually. If they try to jump it, we'll block. We can't block this one because it just threatens to activate. Okay, yeah, let's try to block there. Mike's wife was the one I was playing. Cool. You're Mr. Tifa? Got it, Mike. 
Okay, that was a... Oof, that one's really good. Oh, boy. I guess I'll just play this B for... Oh, I guess if we played Scented Griffin, we could have threatened to double block if they pumped up. That doesn't seem that good, though. I want to play... Parney Simic deck he posted in chat so badly. Yeah, it looks sweet, Sluvars. Yeah, I, he was um he was talking to me about it yesterday. We have drawn six lands in a row. We have not drawn a single spell. Yeah, we are gonna lose to this. Oh my gosh. I mean, this does help somewhat, but we still don't have attacks. We do have blocks now on the Aeromunculus and the Syndicate Messenger. Wow, this card is stupid. I know, we have drawn seven lands in a row. <sighs> I mean, look at it this way. If we draw Mass Manipulation... Uh, we are getting close to yoinking two things. And they currently don't have attacks with these, so we have that going for us. Which is nice. That can just trade there. Okay. That doesn't... These two are not a combo exactly. <laughs> so, this is three to adapt. Alright, so we can play the Senegriff and also... Send with a skitter eel. Okay, can we scry not land? We were gonna draw land. Yeah, Skybro is is strong. Uh I think we should attack with a skitter eel is my guess. Uh, we are sealed, uh, Dumori. Punch. Cool. I know, watch us draw mass manipulation next turn. I'm gonna lose it. I am gonna lose it. Is this a common? Oh no, what that was a shame. For shame. Sure. I'm at eight. Oh, it's an uncommon. Oh my gosh. Okay, good news. We we can mass manipulation for two now. We also totally don't have attacks. I mean we could send with this guy, because we do have to try to finish this game. Like, we do have to try to kill them. If they double block, I think we're okay with that. We just kill this one. I thought they had adapted already, can't they? Oh shoot, they hadn't adapted yet. Ugh. Yeah, I messed that up. I thought they had adapted already. Rip. Okay. Hmm. Probably should use this at sorcery speed. I mean, I guess we don't need to yet. We can hold on to it for like one turn. Because we're only taking one a turn right now. I mean, we might try that in a second. But I'm at seven right now. So I, I don't feel like I'm under super pressure from this thing. So now we can mass manipulation for three if we draw it. That's not bad. Okay. Okay, that buys us some time. So we should actually just tap this one. 
Yeah, I just don't feel like it's necessary to use it right now. I'd use it if I were at five, maybe. Just tap this one's the only one that can attack. Play my planes. After this, I'm not playing any more lands, I don't think, in case I draw the looter. Sure. Hmm, that's gonna be rough. Yeah, I can steal three now. We have ten mana in play. They've been two lands, sure. I know. That is gonna be rough, Darius, especially because they've been a bunch of lands. Pluto! Pluto, welcome back with a 13. How are you? Oh boy. Well, we can uh, bring to trial that thing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pluto. How have you been? How was the New Year's? How was the holidays? They put a counter on it. Okay. What's our record? I think we're like 3-1 or something. You said good so far. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's a sorcery. Okay, that was pretty cool. So let's kick it off with this first. Actually, yeah, I think 3 4 Haster would have been better there, but who knows, whatever. You said good so far. I went to GDQ, had lunch with Skybills, and talked about you and MTG, and it makes me really want to play. Oh my gosh, Pluto, yes. Tell me any GP that you think you might want to go to. There's a GP Seattle, um, which would be close to you. Yeah, I'm planning on going to that one. Am I giving out the token? No, uh, I have not done that in a while. So let me bring to trial first. I'm gonna bait. I want to see. Okay, no, that just immediately resolved. Uh, do not want. Fairy duelist does not seem useful. Slimebind does lock down the Asorius, dude. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Magic fest. So I think we keep slime bind, and then try to YOLO into mass manipulation. We didn't get it, but we can definitely do that. And we're just buying ourselves time until we find mass manipulation. We're we're just gonna do it for like four. I know some hot hot land action. Four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve. Oh, I'm so excited for mass manipulation. It's going to be great. Uh, Seattle is going to be... Chat, I need help. When is GP Seattle? I know, that was nice. Agreed. When is GP Seattle, chat? We scried... Concordia Pegasus, whatever. Okay, well, our own Asorius Night Arbiter is not bad. November. Is it that late, really? Let me play my planes. 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Still have no attacks here. But we can start attacking with Asaurus Night Arbiter. June 20th. Okay, thank you, Slubars. So it's, it looks like it's in the middle of the year, Pluto. Um, but that's going to be the closest one to you. There's nothing in, like, San Fran. There's probably going to be one in the West Coast, like, a la... Somewhere in the Bay Area. There might be like a GP Oakland. Oh no, actually GP Oakland already happened. Have they announced the format for Seattle? Uh, I think they did. LA is in March. Is this sealed? Yes. Internet Senpai. Yeah, Oakland was at the very beginning of the year. I didn't go to that one. There's one in LA, Magic Fest Oakland already happened. I don't think there are any other California ones. Got it. Thanks, chat. Chat's so helpful. I think so, King Jenny, but I also think it's more valuable to, to when we draw mass manipulation, be able to yoink like three creatures. Um, sure. I mean, that's honestly fine. Why are they attacking with that one? 
Oh, <laughs> alright, that makes more sense. Mass manipulation! Alright, that's not bad. Seventeen cards left in the deck. Oh shoot, I forgot to attack with my knight. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have totally attacked, I forgot about him. Adapt cost now costs it's pretty cheap, I think. Minus two. So we can we can definitely do it. Can you adapt and adapt again what's on the stack? I don't think so. You can? Oh, but it won't give you counters? Then let's not worry about it. It's like double monstrosity doesn't do anything. Alright, cool. We good, fam. Alright, now we're hold on to the lands. It would be kind of cheating if you could do that, though. That's true. I don't think I want to attack with this. It just holds back this thing. How's the nonsense going? It's good, Luis. Look at all our pretty flyers. This thing is totally busted. It's super unfair. We were losing badly until we got this card. Three mana after life, two, one, one. Oh yeah, Knight Arbiter. Knight Arbiter seems great, so does the Asoria Skyguard. That card seems like really unfun to play against. Look at that Concordia Pegasus, just like a nice 0-3. Also, Luis, we are waiting to draw the coolest card in our deck. Come on! Alright, that's fine. He's gonna mass manipulation after you do? That'd be horrible. Yeah, Justicia's Portal is a pretty cool card. I mean, I have nothing... That's fine. I'm probably gonna loot away the portal, actually. Well, I guess we'll wait and see, because we're about to loot. Okay, loot. We could start gaining life, too, actually. Summary, Judgment deals 3 damage to target tapped creature at Dundam. If you cast a spell during your main phase, it deals 5 damage to the creature instead. Okay, well, we can just dish this portal, keep it alive. Blinkarino! Gimme, gimme! Uh, now, we also get to resolve the loot, which is nice. <laughs> it was nice. I'm back, what did I miss? Uh, we just saved our little Senate Guild Mage from... Certain death. Rally seems better than Code of Constraints, so let me just bin that. Too bad I can't loot again. Ooh, I forgot we put the Scuttle Gator into our deck. So I think this turn I'm gonna just send with the Arbiter. And I'm gonna play the Scuttle Gator. I'm not gonna loot with the Senate Guild Mage. I think I'm just gonna gain life. Little Scuttle Boy. We can almost play it and adapt it the same turn. I know, where's this mass manipulation? It's in the bottom 13 of our deck. Are we getting any last minute vintage cube? Not from me. I'm sorry, Eric. I am excited about the new set. We're on the new set life now. Oh, I really want to win with it. Trust me. Wait, what is this? They're hitting me with this thing? But why, though? Yeah, we'll take all their flyers for sure. I guess they want the spirits. They're O ones though. I mean, I'm gonna block. They want defenders? I don't know, man. This thing is... Oh, maybe they have a mass pump in hand. Hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna block. Uh, maybe 
Maybe we still keep looting. <sighs> deploy actually sounds better than rally for battle because we can deploy right now and gain like a bajillion life. So let's bin rally. Make some thoughts. Gain a million. Mass manipulation, come on! Uh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, I guess we could technically attack with a scuttle gator, but there's like really no reason to do so. Let me just send with this thing. <laughs> so is any doggers emote cap. I let me show you the shrug emote though. That one's really cute. Look at this one. It's gonna be so cute. Uh, yeah, and the turn. Yes, when we do the return to the return to the return to Ravnica, that's when the Boros deck codes will be finally here. What happened to the rally? I drew a better card, Darius. Uh, I drew Depose, Deploy, and I deployed to gain a million. I know, we were, we're gonna adapt. Enchant creature, enchanted creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Got it. Ninety-nine percent doggers. It's a hundred percent doggers. Gabby Dogarino. All right, let's scoodle. Oh my gosh, what does it take to get mass manipulation around here? Wow, so stupid. We have eight cards left in our deck. This is really dumb. All right. Let's attack with... Just a Scoodle Man. Uh, we can see how many screws scared to the bottom. Okay, so it's gonna be one of our next five cards. Oh, well, we stole all their flyers and we just killed them. Like, it's good. We're not gonna get decked. It's gonna be fine. It's just funny because, you know... We've drawn all of our deck, and we know the bottom three, so we know it's one of the next five. <laughs> they have infinite blockers, too. Slubar shows up and my chat randomly died. The truth is out there. I know, we gotta be more manipulative, yo. Ooh, that offsets, um... That spirit offsets our Asoria Skyguard. I mean, we still have like a bajillion flyers, so we're doing fine. The stats on these are so weird. Look at this. O2. Hi, <laughs> Slubers. Uh, the set's out tomorrow, Cap. And draft is out on Friday, I believe. Yeah, I think I'll bounce my own 2 5. I like that. And then we get to draw a card, too. Yeah. Gimme, gimme. Okay. So let's play that. Let's play the Peggy. So we know it's one of the next three. We can definitely hit with this. Happy Dragon Appreciation. Is it really Dragon Appreciation this day? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I appreciate you, lady. Whoa, that was pretty cool. Dude, knowing Lady, it probably is Dragon Appreciation Day. You see? I'm telling you. I didn't think she was making it up. I thought she was for reals. Wizards tweeted about it. That's cool. Wizards has this huge dragon at the lobby of, of, of Watsi. I forget what her name is, but she's a cute dragon. <laughs> Maybe Famous IRL. It, you, you just arrived on a bunch of nonsense, basically. I guess, technically speaking, my webcam... These three should actually be, like, there. Hold on. 
I need to... Hold on. What the hell? Come on. Hold on. Let me just... It's not that one. It's not that one. Wow, this is stupid. I can't find what the name of that thing is. Alright, whatever. I'll fix it in between the games. It's one of the next three. Okay. Was about- took long enough. So how much can we do this for? We have 7, 10, 12. Player on Quench. What does Quench do, beep, beep, beep? I'm just gonna try to steal four. Quench is paid two. We could do that. We could steal three. Nah, whatever. Let's pay four. Let's scooch over. This one, the one that pumps your things, and probably the two that leave blockers. And then they can keep all the other, like, crappy ones. I mean, the um, Aria Monculus is not bad. Alright. Yoink. <laughs> Dope. Let's not attack with... This one. There you go. Alright, that was cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, don't settle the wreckage of me. Alright, that was a good game. Bad chat calling settle the wreckage on this. Alright, hold on. I found it. I found the overlay. There you go. Perfect. Oh my god. I guess, is there a fog? Is a new set out on MTGA already? It is out tomorrow for everybody. This is a streamer event. A new documentary dropped on Hulu. Oh, I want to watch that, Slubers. I've heard really good things. Yeah, we might do that tonight, actually, Slubers. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, I want to watch it. You want to watch it tonight, Louise? That sounds like a really good plan. I love it. Yeah, DC said he was jamming. I think BK was said he was jamming too. Pew 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 pew. We didn't deal him as much damage as I thought we would have given the number of attackers we had, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, for sure, slew bars. Nice. Okay, so we're 4-0. Not bad. Yeah, that was like a very mild amount of pewing giving that we attacked. We stole four creatures and attacked with everyone. Yes, Fire Festival is supposed to be like like this is not spoilers, this is just what I know from, you know, like cuz this is based on a on a on a true story. Um it's like someone was trying to uh do a festival. Hold on, we can get rid of this one. I'm going to actually clean up my Obvious a little bit. They were trying to do like a festival, like one of those festivals where you it's all inclusive and you go to spend a weekend. But they definitely bit off more than they could chew. So then they like had to improvise because they didn't know what they were doing. And then it resulted with like people they they had to buy like tents to put people into them and like I don't know, it was just a sh just a total, total shit show. Okay. Uh, we can keep this, even though it's not great. Yeah, I mean, it was all inclusive, but it wasn't really. Like, they were supposed to have, like, catered meals with, like, the best chefs available. And realistically, like, they, they were making them, like, bread sandwiches, just like PB and J, because they didn't have any money. <laughs> totally, like, scammed a bunch of people. Then people tried to leave because they were having such a bad time at this event, and then they couldn't. That was like another one of the things that happened is they couldn't leave the event, even though they tried. I don't know, it was just a total shit show. Oh, we're playing against Mr. Atronome, that we are. Mm. 
Sacrifice another creature, Pitiless Pontiff gains Death Touch and Indestructible until end of turn. So I think we probably will just like run this out to block. I mean, we don't actually even have to block it. Oh, I didn't go to the event rats. They they made a um Guildgate is fine. Ooh, we might be able to get him with Justicia's portal here. Uh, I didn't go, so I have no idea, but they 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 made a they ended up making like a Netflix festival because of it. All right, so we're going to let them attack. All right, cool. So now we portal target this thing. Oh no. Okay, they do they do not have We can shrink this one and we block that one. We have first strike. Did you see us? <laughs> we did some some spinny tricks. That was really cool. That worked out kind of as well as I think it might have. How's Fairy Duel spin? All right, Louis. Not great, not bad. You know, just okay. I think we need to try to draw a land here. So let's just... Uh, admonition, bouncing... Maybe just the spirit. Just because it actually does kill it. Better than like a... Try to make a land drop so we can play the messenger. I mean, this wasn't a good draw, but at least it's a play we can make next turn. Because I want to land for Griff and Messenger. Rich people are acceptable targets that plebes enjoy what they can in life. No, it's no one's an acceptable target. This was just like a total, total shit show of a scam. Which is why they ended up doing a documentary about it, is because it was so bad. Wait, what was just that? Spectacle, return up to two target cards from your graveyard to your hand, and they brought back the oligarch. All right. Well, just play this, I guess. Sure. Yeah, fraud is just universally bad. Let's not do it, okay? We really need to draw a land. What the hell? He's manuscript too. We just got to send with this. And play this thing. We might end up slime binding just because I think we're gonna, once we draw a land, we're gonna be so busy playing our four drops. We have like three or four drops. Is Silvergill Adept busted in limited RNA? Uh, Silvergill Adept, you mean this one? This guy has been. Or is there an actual Silvergill Adept? Like a sack counter something unless they pay one? Beep beep, I would, I don't know if you're being facetious or not, but I would just drop it. Uh, Undercity Scavenger, Creature Ogre. When Undercity Scavenger enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, put two plus one plus one counters on Undercity Scavenger, then scry two. All right. Kaka <laughs> Condor. Oh, no worries, Psychotic. Yeah, no, that guy's not good. I don't think. So they did sack that thing, and they do get to Afterlife. I guess we still get to shrink this, which we might do. Okay. I know they can get to keep sacking stuff, but I think if we draw land here... Oh, come on! How many do we have here? Not enough to... Actually, not you. Actually, not not you either. Eh, maybe it's fine with you. It's almost a land, I know. <laughs> Literal opposite. So this costs eight, right? Eight? Sure, and we have five. Yeah, we're not even close. Is 
Is this a mid-range win in the sky split? It's a little, like, tempo-y, too, um, Mont Blanc. It's kind of hard to tell right now because we have no lands in play. <laughs> I want the, that guy. I want to play that guy. Yeah, if we got, I draw one more land, we have three playables, so. All right, we're definitely not blocking that. Land! Oh my god. Well, at least that blocks things, I guess. Skip. Skip again. I know. I would, man, I would love some lands. What's it take to get a land around here? Rack this lockage, sure. So, interestingly enough, they're actually not beating us despite having. I think I can just take this. Sacrifice another creature, pitiless pontiff gains death, such an indestructible until on the turn. I will not block it. For a new set. Hey, Divine Overlord! Uh, what card am I most excited for in the new set? I think. Oh my gosh, this planes that we just drew, that's the card I'm most excited for. It's amazing. So excited. What the hell? Oh, Aegis, thank you. I'm going to leave that on top. Would love more lands. Oh yeah, lands are great, confirmed. We have no attacks here, but... I wish we had another fairy duelist so that we could attack and then this they block and then we just I guess we have ready to battle. Uh but anyway, the card I like the most just from I don't know, I think it's cool. It's the the like ghost or spirit or something that gives all your spells death touch. I think it's just really cool. I haven't killed Vodila's hype too. Uh, I think I would have picked Rakdos if I could just have picked. Though funnily enough, we, we keep playing blue ducks. I mean, you guys know blue is my favorite color in Magic, but I don't know. Rakdos seems really cool in the set. Yes, it gets Death Touch, Darius. It gets uh, Death Touch and Indestructible until end of turn. So I don't think I wanted to block with a Spirit. It, they just like sack this or this, and then they can just keep attacking with that. No worries, Darius. Don't worry. I, I too, am learning what all the cards do as we go. Hey, Sinadi! Thank you so much for the first time sub. Or the tier 1 sub, rather. What are my thoughts on Limited so far? It's really early, Internet Senpai. All my thoughts for you are, like, way too... They're too premature. So I could block with a Concordia Pegasus because, like, if they want to kill it, they're going to have to sack something, which seems, like, fine to me. Oh, the timer did flip, didn't it? It's supposed to go the other way. That's really weird. <laughs> All right, so I'll just block there, and if they do want to sack something, I'm okay with that. Yep, that was pretty annoying. We are close to being able to mass manipulation for one. Just play this thing, I think. Dagger caster enters the battlefield, deals one damage to each opponent, and each one damage to each. All right, that's a cool card. Still don't have attacks. Said it's because the set symbol's upside down version of the guilds, maybe? I think it might be a bug because we're in a, in a different environment than we usually are. I actually think that... Th that Pontiff seems pretty good, right? 
I, I was I have been impressed by it too, Darius. Like here they can trade the Undercity Scavenger or a token for it. I'm just gonna take it. Because our other option is to block that to that, and then we get to afterlife. But whenever another creature you control dies, Vindictive Vampire deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. Ooh. I like Deploy. Deploy's gonna be not too shabby. So I think we just kick it off with Skitter Eel. No, 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 no. Skitter Eel. We don't have attacks. <laughs> yeah, Squiddle Gator has like crazy creature type. Uh, crab, turtle, crocodile. It's just nonsense. Is Slimefoot our only permanent way to shrink a guy? Uh, we have the, the six mana uh, Sphinx or Griffin that shrink six for. Minus one, minus oh. We also have the two man enchantment that shrinks something permanently for minus four. Here it is. The slime bind. I think those are our only ways. Let me look. We, oh, Coda Constraint does it, but just until the end of turn. But if they get indestructible, it's not going to matter. I mean... Might as well. We can't just keep letting this thing get in there infinite. Sure. Oh yeah, I, I, I am thinking about stealing that. Wait, what is that? You may exile target trick card from a graveyard if you do gain two life. Sure. Sure, that's fine. Yeah, I'm worried because this is a... This is a sack outlet so they can just blood artist us with this thing. Okay, there you go. I think I just yoinked that. They don't actually have good attacks. If, I guess they could... Oh no, they, they only get to do this once. So they actually don't have attacks if we yoink that. I think we should. Yeah, we also can't steal anything else if they have mana up, so we might as well just do this. Uh, pay for one. Yoink that thing. Okay, now it's mine. The next turn I can play the Scuttle Gator, and as long as our... Sended Griff and our Syndicate Messenger don't die. We will actually be pretty protected in the skies. Then it's just a matter of time for us to draw, like, um, Asorius Knight Arbiter or, like, Asorius Skyguard. And I think then we're back in this game. Like, we were really, really slow out the gates this game. Oh, Jesus. Well... I think I would have wanted to yoink that one. Hello. Wow, well, we are super dead. Exar with a gifted sub to Surply. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what are we doing? I guess we have to try to... For each creature that isn't a demon, devil, or imp, destroy each creature whose coin comes up as tails. I know, bulletproof. I would have liked to yoink that one. I don't know. I think we have to block there because we're just taking too much damage. And we're going to have to depose that one in a second. Okay. So we have enough for Scoodle Gator and then we can... De oh, shoot. No, wait. I lied. <laughs> I miscounted. 
I guess we can still chump and we are super dead. I don't, we're not really gonna win by deposing. We're just delaying the inevitable. But I guess now we can block that. This block's here. Ragdoll has flample. Okay, I can actually just take this. All right. K. K. K, so we can keep this on lockdown. And then we, we don't even get to do anything here. It's okay, though. Because as long as we keep it on lockdown for a little bit, maybe we can find an answer. I don't think we actually have an answer to this. Um, yeah, I guess play my land. Bring to trial? What does bring to trial do again? Let me look. What does bring to trial do again? I can't even really attack with these. Oh, exile, exile the large creature. Yeah, sure. Sure. So I think our outs to try to win this game are to hopefully kick the Scoodle Gator, keep this tapped, and start attacking with this. And at some point, we're going to have to try to rally to block. But this is not even going to kill it. Hey, little Florist, how are you? Because this is turn. For, this is tapped for this turn. So next turn, we're going to have to... Oh, shit. Syndicate Guildmage deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Oh, baby. We have not used trial. No. <laughs> We're so dead. This is fine. This is not fine. We're so dead. What are you talking about? Either one of these kills us next turn. I guess technically... No, as soon as this untaps, it's going to kill us. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. Deploy, then rally. Oh, I guess deploy gains life, and then... No, because we need... Oh, no, we do have eight mana. Sure, so we'll deploy now. We have to deploy now. We have to do it now. Um, do we have attacks? Yeah, we can attack with a fairy duelist. And nothing else. Okay, cool. All right, all right. Let's do this. <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous, but there's no way we're gonna get out of this. The straight target creature scry one. You got me. Rally on taps. Yeah, we're fine. Why did I do it on my turn? Uh, I wanted to get all the creatures in case they had a kill spell. Also, if they untapped to, with this, I would, uh, they would just deal me too. I, I could respond to that, but then if they have another way to deal me one, I just die. What? What does that card do? Deals three damage to tapped creature. Oh man, we got punished for attacking, I guess. So if we triple block, we take three and then two more deals us here and then we go down to one, but we actually get to kill Rakdos. I feel like we kill Rakdos just to send a message. Oh 
Oh my god, no, they're gonna blow it out with some. <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> well, I wanted to send the message, but I, I got the messages loud and clear. The message is that we are extremely dead. <laughs> that was a good match. That was really good. That was our first loss. Lol. We did kill Rakdos. I I take the moral victory. Yeah, trampled death touch is a is a hell of a drug. Rakdos was really good. You know what's funny too? He rolled kind of crappy for Rakdos. Like a lot of our creatures were left alive. Okay, we're gonna keep this and hope to draw some lands as always. Sure. He has double dagger caster with double blade brand. I don't know what either of those cards do, do you see? What does this do? Rakdos Trumpeteer, two mana, one, three, menace. For four mana, it gets plus two plus so until end of turn. All right, sure. Let's just play this bad boy. <laughs> the deck was so great and it was never punished. It was a little greedy, but it was a cool deck. It was a little greedy and it also was a little cool. Bum, bum, da, 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 da. Oh my god, what is going on? I tried to load up Twitch. Try to load up Twitch and then you. Okay, they're on mono Ragdos Trumpeteers, sure. <sighs> this thing doesn't even do anything. I don't think the Kodo Constraint actually does anything right now, so let's just hit. Oh, is are, are some people wondering why we died there? Yeah, so Trample means that you only have to deal a creature lethal damage, and Death Touch means you only need to deal one for it to be lethal. So when you have Trample and Death Touch, you can deal one damage to a creature, and the rest tramples over. When Civic Stalwart enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Um, I might code a constraint here. I didn't want to have to do it right now. But it stops us from taking two damage here. This thing, it does, this one doesn't matter. Oh yeah, something is definitely wrong with your keyword DC. It also gets us closer to drawing the land that we do want to draw. Um, the money, money. Thank you for whoever bought that bundle Almost through the Humble Bundle. Thank you, I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Alright, now we can play this bad boy. Attack with a Mander. Was it ever a strategy before the Death Touch ramp buff? No, I don't think so. I can... I think at some point there was a standard deck that had a... That was a creature that had Death Touch and then you also had like a spell that gave plus four plus four and trample so like you could try to do that but it doesn't most of the times you just like when you have a creature that has death touch and trample you're just usually winning yeah trample's already pretty good death touch makes it just slightly more trampoline well the civic stalwart seems like a really good card oh these have menace f i guess i'm taking infinite Ooh, yay, yay. All right, I think we have to try to set up the Skitter Eel to eat some stuff. So let's play Concordia Pegasus. Um, and then we're going to have to bounce the Skitter Eel to eat one of the Civic Stalwarts, I think is the play. If you understand correctly, the 10th is the worst and the 1st is the best, but they're all ungilded, so they're inherently bad. <laughs> hey, Bolt the Burb, how are you? That elephant seems really good. 
When Civic Stalwart enters the battlefield, creatures you can draw get plus one, plus one, until the turn. It's like the angel, the angel of the fifth whatever. Or maybe it just costs five mana. I, I'm thinking of the number five for some reason. But it was like five mana, three, three, when it ETBs, all your creatures get plus one, plus one. Angel of Dawn, that's what it was. Okay. Let's do some Blinkerinos. So block that, and then we have to also probably double block that. We can't even activate it. But we're going to lose our, our Tyromander. Do I own a Black Lotus? I own a Collector's Edition Black Lotus, which is not the same, but it's still very cool. Yeah, this is this this little face thing is the menace, I think. The face mask. Oh yeah, I guess I should have just blocked the 3-3, three, three, huh? Yeah, that's way better. We just take less damage. Um Okay, so we still don't have blocks here, but we do have Eat this eats this. This can eat that, and this can't block that still. It was that uh, Exar earlier's reply. Alright, so let's just play this. No attacks. They're probably gonna swing all. I live 30 minutes from Gooby and I still haven't got, got into cube. Well, we actually haven't cubed in a while, Freddy. Uh, opponent should have played that before Taxius. Kind of come Crocodile is fine. It's just a 3-7. I mean, it's like hard to attack into, but it's not a great attacker. Yep, the 2-5 Vigilance is unblockable. I think this card's really good. Catacomb Croc has the best flavor text. Let's look. I am Sewer King, said Rad. I am quick and cunning, and I know every tunnel. No, I am kidding, said Zombie. I am cold and deadly, and no rock can harm me. Then Croc came and ate them both. <laughs> That's great. All right, so for this, we have to... Eat that, trade there, and we can't even block that one. But it seems fine. Okay, so as long as we can present some amount of blockers... Because this can just block here, and then we make two blockers that can kill that, and then they get in for another one. So, let's go. As long as they don't have a kill spell, we might be okay. Like, here we have to play. And when we get... If we draw land for a story sky guard, these are just dead. Oh, perfect. Leave it on top. Concordia Pegasus text is good. What makes a frog lizard any worse than a bird horse? Prejudice against the Simic. That's what. It's unfair. That is our Quiff Guardian Project Biomancer. That's really good. Uh, our opponent GG'd us. Why did they GG us? I'm like worried. Now I don't want to play the Soria Skyguard. Yeah. I mean, obviously the play still this, so... Maybe they think they can't win. Uh, given the board position before we played the Astoria Skyguard, I thought they more meant that they thought they were gonna win. So, maybe they're out of gas? Maybe. Maybe. 
I do. I want to deploy next turn, Darius. That's the plan. Just so we can get out of range of being insta-dead. Oh, damn it. That is, that is why they GG'd us. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why didn't they do that before? They could have done that before and still had the attacks. Maybe maybe it would have been better to deploy before that so something like that didn't happen. That was BM. <laughs> It costs six. Oh, oh, that would explain it. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. We play around summary judgment. What is? Got it. That's why they GG'd us. Got it. I wish we would have. Maybe it was better for us to play um. The gay life spell, but I liked getting more life too. Oh, thank you so much, Jack. So I appreciate that. Keep. What is summary judgment, Bolt the Burb? Is that top sparkles? No, I think you are looking at... This is just the... Um, the microphone. <laughs> yeah, playing around shit is for week two. You are, week one, you're not playing around anything. Not really. Yeah, our opening hands have not been great. Uh, this one's gonna be okay though, because we get to. Oh. I'm actually gonna bounce that, so let me just go ahead and play this, because I'm gonna on my main phase bounce that. Hey, Rhoda! Thank you so much for the two months! I appreciate that. Because this is just going to ramp out something huge, I think. And I really want to draw land. Come on. Why can't we never draw lands? We're playing 17. Thank you, Rod. I appreciate the two months. Sure. Hmm. All right. So we can play island... Probably just the Syndicate Messenger. Ah, uh, you can play a uh, standard also, Smith, but I, I wanted to... I wanted to play sealed. Huh, so they didn't get to replay that thing, so we actually time walked them pretty nicely there. If they attack, I will trade. I think so. And then that opens up the the way for my skitter eel also. Yeah, so if our opponent had tapped blue, blue, blue for gruel, lock it. And then forest that and gruel, lock it, they could play the, the gyre engineer. I was never able to finish the blind vintage draft. How did you two finish? I think we 2 1 Rod, but I'm not sure. Lock and make screen. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it totally does. I thought they were on just red. So I guess they were just like slow rolling or something. I don't really know. I am not really sure. Hi, puppy. Hi. Hi. Hey girl, you gotta go potty. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's just play Skitter Eel. Attack with both. <laughs> yeah, that was a drive by hello. Luis just got home. Oh no, what is this? Biomancer is familiar. Two mana, two, two. Activated abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the amount of mana ability cost to less than one mana. 
tap. The next time target creature adapts this turn, it adapts as though it had no plus one, plus one counters. Okay, so basically you get to keep adapting. So if you have any adapters, you can just um, adapt and it makes adaptation cheaper. Oh, hello. Why does he have an Irish accent? <laughs> yeah, our opponent has a lot of good good cards. I mean, mass manipulation does yoink the the Domri. Oh my god, we're gonna lose. We are in troubles. Well, they ran out the Domri just for, um, just to die. Hydrate Crisis is really good, right? When you cast this spell, you gain half X life and draw half X cards, round down each time. He can block? Oh. With flying guy. Well, I got the tech, right? Oh god, I don't have five mana yet. F. So I guess we attack the two flyers at Domri, and they'll block, and then we can just uh, rally the rally to battle. I think that's the best play because we have to get rid of it. Ah, Esper, thank you for the thirty months. So this there, and this there, and this at them. Thirty months. How can he block? Because it costs two less to activate, to activate this, and then they have this, so they can jump it. Um, sure. That resolves. Thank you so much, Asper. How have you been? Hashtag <laughs> slowpoke. I'll take it. I really appreciate it. Actually, this might be fine. I mean, I guess the problem is it doesn't kill Domri. So yeah, maybe we do just rally. It also keeps this one alive, which is nice. Oh god. Okay. Alright, so we got rid of Domri. Obviously these two and this is a problem. Hey Dix, how are you? Welcome. Money, 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 money. Thank you for whoever's supporting the stream via the Humble Bundle. I appreciate that. That's good, Asper. How's life been? Yes, Elise is not going to come in with a free counter in haste. Like, look, that card's going to be a really hard to beat. But if we keep drawing lands, we can steal it with mass manipulation. Um. We also, if we need to just delay the inevitable, we can arrestors admonition. Like, we can chill bringer at one turn. Keep it topped. The next turn, we draw land, we mass manipulate it, and it's ours. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh my god. Alright, we really need to draw land this turn, though. Your life was equivalent to magic life, so it'll be like 40, because I got all the holiday fat. Love it. Okay, so we didn't draw it. Um, we also, I don't think we can bounce it. So I think we just Code of Constraint main phase it um, to keep it tapped, which just buys us time. Yeah, we can't bounce it, but we can keep it tapped. Tap it and tap it real good. Hey, Arkea, how are you? Welcome back with the three months. Enjoy your Pokemon trainer hat today. Oh, I didn't mean to top that, but sure. I'm not really sure how we're... I mean, we are going to try to race them. I, I do actually think that's one of our outs. Like... Okay, we drew a Sorius Guildgate. That is great. That is great. So now...
This stays tapped. We send with everybody. They're gonna take three at least, maybe a little bit more because of the skitter eel. All attack. And then even if we don't draw land next turn, this is gonna stay tapped still. Um, and then we get to chill it for one turn. Two turns, technically. That turn and then the next turn. And if at any point we yoink it, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be incredible if we actually win this game. Because their deck gets busted. Oh my god, what is this? Sphinx of the Guild pack is all colors. Flying. Hexproof from monocolored. What the f? That's so weird. Hi, doggy. What's going on, girl? Jigga potty. Hi. Hey, girl. Hi. We can't steal that one, but... But... New plan. Um, we can, this is protection from multicolored, right? It's not dog champ, it's, a uh, it's doggers, dicks. Hi, doggy. Wow, this dog's losing its mind. Oh, monocolored, sorry, not multicolored. Okay, yeah, that's stupid. Hmm. I don't know how we're gonna deal with that card ever. Come right here. What you up to? You wanna join me on stream? Uh, it's gonna be a while. It's been a while. Okay, yeah, that's actually that's good. No chance. No. All right, so I think we have to. We gotta chill this. We gotta chill the bounding crosses still. All right, we still don't have great attacks here, um, but basically the plan is to slow them down until we draw land, and then the hydrate crisis will be ours, and then that blocks the sphinx. This look at this cool thing, hexproof from monocolored. Oh, that's gonna be a toughie because this one's gonna be a five-five. No, 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 he didn't, Chip. I think he's just taking the dog out for a walk. Oh my god. Sphinx of Guild Pack is all colors. Why? Why? <laughs> That's such a weird text. <laughs> We're gonna have to take a hit or two from the Sphinx. But if they... Mm, gosh. I guess we were gonna just draw here. Uh, we definitely need land. We don't need... Oh, hold on. We need that one. We probably don't need the other one. And then the Asoria Skyguard is not bad. Okay, yeah, so we keep island on top. We yoink... The craces, and then we can play this as our own shrink their other shit. Okay. Oh, that's not bad either. <sighs> okay. It's a callback to Transguild Courier from Descension. Oh, yeah, I haven't played it. Oh, better magic. There's a lot of cursing on the stream. If you're not okay with that, I would not recommend. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that thing's huge now. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to take a big hit here. Sphinx is uncommon, but it's really expensive. It's seven mana. Hey, Iron Mel, how are you? Ouch, ouch. I mean, I think we can try to kill this one. Um...
Okay. Wait, why can't I kill the Terramander? Oh, they can adapt it again. I forgot about their card. So I guess we could triple block, take this, and then we could yoink that one. Maybe we just let it go. The Miller is good, man. This isn't on top of it, right? No. Sure. Yeah, they have counter or bounce. Oh yeah, but I mean, we're not playing around uh, counter or bounce at this point. We're just like doing, you know. We're not very dead. I think we can try to make this work. Um, because neither of these has trample. So as long as we get to untap with this thing, we'll have the biggest flyer on the board. Uh, so we yoink that one. Then we just have to deal with these two. And then once this untaps, it'll be good. Oh, Krasis does have trample. Huh, but then we have to leave him with a Terramander. I guess this can at least be chumped. And then at some point we can bounce it. Can't block the Sphinx? What do you mean? We can totally block the Sphinx. Alright, so we are gonna steal the Krasis then. Okay, so that's ours. The next turn they're probably gonna attack with a bunch of things, but we get to- this has a rebuy at the very least. We could also... Uh, chump there and then double block that if they do attack with both their flyers. No attacks. Are we dead if they swing out though? No, we're not. We are not. But if they have a removal spell, we're dead, but gotta try to play to our outs or something. Oh, that's really bad. It's not just going to attack with unblockable 5-5. Five five. It's not unblockable. Why do people think it's unblockable? Now we're dead. Yeah, now we're dead. We just block there, block there, block there. We take f block there, take 5. All right, people are confused. Hold on. Before we scoop here, people are confused about this card, so let's just go over it real quick. Sphinx of the Guild Pact is all colors flying... Hexproof from monocolored. That is not protection from monocolored. Yeah, if we had drawn a land a turn earlier, we would have been able to steal, or two turns prior, actually, we would have been able to steal the Krasis. Um, let's crack some packs. We steal the Krasis. Then on the following turn, because we, are, we have already stolen it, we can bounce the the one the like one one that turns into a five five. Yeah, maybe that turn we sh the the way we should have played that is chump with a one two, the like the one that hit us for nine that turn. Yeah, cracking these is not as fun because they they are wizard sponsored or whatever. At least I did steal the guy that had trample. All right, I am going to open a new sealed pool chat, but I am, I was recording this for YouTube. So let me wrap up this video and then we'll open the new one. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. And thanks again to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this video and giving us the accounts for the streamer event. Hope you enjoyed. Um, the, the format seems cool. It seems like there's way more like splashing in this set than there was in guilds. Though it's, I mean, it's hard to know. I just feel like in guilds, you always ended up in like your guild. And I think... From what we've seen and like the decks I've wanted to play, I feel like we've wanted to splash a lot more, which is cool. 
Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this, there's more on youtube.com slash Gabby Sparts. If you want to come say hi to us in the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash Gabby Sparts. I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See you later.